We will continue to uh, mechanize and uh, to automate the factory. I think in terms of uh, operation in KJP especially, uh, there's a lot of things that we can do to uh, make it more efficient. For example? Well, I think uh, energy is one of the major part of the processing cost. So there's a lot of potential to reduce that. And for MSM, I think mechanization. I think if uh, the country is going to be uh, uh, converted, transformed to high income uh, economy, I think in future we have to get ready to mechanize further to reduce the, the manpower. Uh, would you install like solar panels, use renewable energy? We have thought about that. I think we are always uh, eco-friendly. We are trying to look into that. I think the fact that we are trying to reduce energy consumption every year is an uh, indication that we are always uh, going for the green environment. So I believe that uh, by doing so, we always get rewarded, not in terms of uh, economically, by uh, making it uh, more uh, energy friendly. Would you participate in the feeding tariff uh, system? Uh, not at this point. Uh, Why not? Uh, well, I think currently we, we are just focusing on uh, only there is a limited scope that we can do it. Uh, so we just focus limited on, scope? Uh, I think currently we are more focused on our sugar business first. Okay? I think we, we are talking about, uh, imagine that uh, we, we have 3,000 tons, we are talking about 1 million tons. And uh, the talk about figure is very easy. But especially when you go to 1.5 million tons, basically we are talking about to and fro got 3 million tons of sugar to handle. So actually it's quite a massive, massive operation. So we are actually focusing on what we can do with what we have at the moment, right, in terms of reducing the cost. So to implement like uh, the solar panel, to do all this feeding, to be part of the feeding tariff program, you uh, will need to make a lot of changes to your operations? No, we, we have thought about that. I think in fact two, three years ago, I, we, I always talk, talking about this uh, uh, energy, uh, alternate energy usage. We have to, you know, we have the big uh, raw sugar. If we have a factory, our raw sugar actually span across the whole area, and uh, the roof itself is uh, quite a big area. Potentially, we can put in solar panel. But I've explored this uh, option, and uh, I found that there's uh, a lot of things to consider. It sounds good to have a solar panel, but what about the maintenance, the potential problem that can come with the solar panel? No? So all this is the technical problem which we have to explore. Do you believe that it, the supply of energy may not be consistent? Is that your concern? Uh, not really. It's, uh, it's too small for our requirement. We will look, uh, rather look at it from a different angle. For example, like we are, in the sugar industry, we can always uh, try to reduce our energy usage or consumption or to utilize the energy more efficiently by other means. For example, we can look at the gas turbine. Okay, that will match the sugar industry. Solar panel, of course, is in general. And also, we, we have to consider other maintenance problems. So, using gas turbine will be more efficient in terms of cost? Well, gas turbine, uh, you see, sugar refining basically is talking about usage of heat energy. Okay, uh, this uh, heat and uh, electricity is just part of it. So, we always like to talk about cogen, which we will be able to generate electricity at a lower cost. Okay. At the same time, the steam can be used for processing.